Hi, this is Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. Here to talk about prophecy. Years ago, I was in a church in Pasadena. And I remember the Lord had given me a word of prophecy. And I believe it, that this is the time that we're going to see that in fruition. We saw a little bit of it in the 2008 crash. But now I honestly believe we're going to see it big time. And what I saw when I was standing up in the church was two lines, almost like two lanes. One lane was where the righteous were. The other lane was where people who weren't into the Lord, into church, into that whole nine yards, or didn't even want to hear it just living however they wanted to live. And what the Lord had shown me was the people who were living for God were going to have some extreme, ridiculously miraculous blessings at the exact same time that the unrighteous were going to be, they were going to go through hell on earth. I mean, it was going to be almost, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Excruciating. It was going to be a very painful time, a very dark season. And what was going to happen was to the same extent that some people were being judged or were suffering hardship, extreme hardship, to that same extreme where the righteous going to experience blessings, unbelievable blessings that came easy. And they would both be happening to the same extreme, the negative and the positive, and they would be flowing side by side. And the only way for the people who were caught up in the judgment to be able to escape it in any way would be to turn to God if it was not too late. And that's all I ask you is consider where you are right now. Whose side are you on? Whom do you want on your side? Who do you want to snuggle up to in your life? Who do you want to join up with and, 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 and be in confederacy with? You want to be hooked up with anger and hatred and resentment and evil and backbiting and backstabbing and uh, stealing and lying and conniving and cheating and doing all kind of treachery, fighting and strifing and everything else you could think of, whoremongering, whatever. Or do you want to be on God's side? Choose you this day whom you will serve. <sighs> I'm not going to take long on this because it almost seems like we're beating a dead horse. There are some of you who will choose and you make a good choice. There's only one good choice. But then there are some of you who just don't want to hear it. You're not interested in being safe rather than sorry. You just want to do what you want to do. And you're not thinking ahead. You're thinking in the moment. But every moment has a cause and effect called consequences. Please don't keep playing Russian roulette with your lives. These are the last days. Jesus is coming soon. Do you hear me? You take it so lightly. It's almost like a joke, like a, a um, worn out record. You just don't want to hear it. Well, I pray. May God have mercy on your soul.